All right, we're going to tie a fly. Uh, this is a takeoff of the Frenchie. Real simple pattern, um, but but super effective. Um, I'm tying it on an Allen N203BL hook. It's a caddis pupil hook, um, barbless. Uh, I've really started to like these flies just because um, they're they're really well made. Uh, fished them a lot and caught a lot of fish on them, so I'm a believer. Um, what I'm going to do first of all is I've got a tungsten bead on. I'm just going to seat the bead with some some lead wire. Um, I use lead wire not necessarily to help weight the fly more. Um, it's more for for it to seat the bead right where I want it to. Okay, I'm going to attach some thread right behind the the lead wraps. I'm going to wrap back to about. Uh, down the bend a little bit. You use some natural pheasant fibers, um, just five or six. And I'm going to tie those in. It's okay if you tie them in a little bit long um, because you can just get them in place with two or three wraps and just kind of pull them to the length that you want. So uh, to show you a little bit better, I'll stick it like that. So, a little bit shorter than the length of the body. And then I, I wrap my thread up above because now I'm going to attach some wire. I've got the extra small um, red colored UTC wire. I'm going to tie that in right, right behind the, the lead again. And when I get back to the tail, I'm going to take one additional wrap in my additional or, or in my initial tie-in point, just to kind of lock it in place. And then I'm going to pull that back, and I'm going to go back up the shank of the hook. Um, so I'm going to wrap the pheasant tail up now. But before I do that, I'm going to kind of build up a taper on the body. Um, and the UTC thread's really good for this because it'll lay down really nice and flat. So I'll, I'll spin it counterclockwise a little bit um, to take the, the twist out of it and just build up a little bit of a, a taper. So now I'm going to take my pheasant tails and I'm just going to use the, the rotary feature to wrap those up the shank. I'm going to wrap them pretty close up to the up to the top of, the, of where the bead is. Okay. The cool thing about the Frenchie is it doesn't have a wing case, so you just clip off the ends and it really saves you time on the fly. Then I'm going to take this wire and I'm just going to wrap it the opposite direction of what I wrap the pheasant tail fibers. And if you look really carefully, you'll see that the pheasant tail fibers are wrapped at a certain angle. Uh, and then the wire is wrapped at, the, at a different angle so it, it really intersects the materials well and it ties it down and makes a super durable fly. So I'm just going to wrap that all the way up to the top. Trim that off. And then I'm just going to take some uh, Arizona semi-seal dubbing now and I like the Canadian orange color. I'm just going to take a tiny little bit and you, you can see there are all different types of colors in there. You've got orange, you've got blue, red, yellow, so it's a it's a great color. It's It's got a bunch of different colors in there. Make a, a, a really nice effect especially when it gets in the water. So I'm going to dub just a little bit of that on there and I'm going to make a, a fairly slim thorax out of it. You can see that it bugs out just a little bit, and that's fine. Maybe some of the longer fibers get rid of those, and then I'm just going to tie that, tie that off with whip finisher. All right, that's the the Frenchie, um, super effective fly. Just uh, fish it like you would a pheasant tail.